Hey everyone, this is Mike from Accounting for Cycling. Today we will be unsnapping and checking out the Bibboard Snap and Lock Bib Fasteners. Uh, so the big thing that drew me to these is, I think anybody who's been to a number of races has a little container here filled with all these safety pins. Uh, safety is kind of fun because like they're only safe when they're closed, when they're open or when you're trying to close them. People like myself uh, tend to get poked quite a bit. So the boards are here to kind of solve that problem and that way you don't end up with a you know, big massive safety pins. So if you uh, have been checking out some of my recent shorts or Instagram posts, uh, you'll notice I actually used these last weekend in the Pewaukee Duathlon. Uh, which I finished. So that's a huge positive. Came in eighth in my age group um, out of eight finishers. Uh, but hey, I got a really cool wooden award out of it. So the way that these work is you have this little back tab thingy. You put the front here and the back. It's going to snap right in. And they and you just kind of, you know, repeat that. I put them back on this cardboard card here because it just kind of keeps them all in order uh, so you don't have to mix and match them. You obviously can, it's pretty easy to do. You just use the same one. So even though this one's for running and this one's for biking, will run for beer, very accurate. And uh, put the fun between your legs because bikes are fun. A lot of fun and it's just kind of a fun little hopefully that doesn't get me demonetized so it's just kind of nice fun to use and unless you're being way too quick on trying to get these things on uh, they shouldn't rip your bib my favorite part about them is they don't leave any holes or imprints or really anything in your shirts your jerseys so this is the actual bike jersey that i wore normally when you see me in events you will see me repping Team RWB, a veteran service organization that really focuses on uh, helping veterans stay active, healthy, and just help out in the community. And it's a great way to just kind of stay in touch, get in touch with uh, vets in the area. Uh, it's really nice too, because when you go to some of the bigger events, uh, whether you're a local or not, there's usually people from all over. So you take the bib, put it through here, you line up on the back and snap. Just kind of do the same on any of the other corners here. There you go. And uh, what I really like about these too is if you have to take your jersey off, unzip, rezip, um, or you know have to do an emergency bathroom trip right before the start of the race, instead of fumbling around with safety pins, getting stabbed, poked, and being anything but safe, you just quickly unsnap them and snap right back into place. Pop. We'll run for beer off here and you can see very very small dimple goes right away. Uh, especially for those who have fairly expensive kits, uh, one-of-a-kind things that aren't in print production anymore so versus uh, we gotta poke through here you always have to hope you get just enough of the the fabric so it doesn't rip and ruin your clothes. Um, and then also like it pokes through on the other side and uh, as you're wearing it, you can get stabbed by it. I don't know, maybe that's a thing that you may enjoy, uh, but I do not. And you can see right here, kind of pick that spot because it had been poked before, uh, but it leaves kind of a nasty imprint cut mark versus nothing. So, see for yourself. Not even a dimple left versus, yeah. So, anyways, I will be using pip boards uh, for pretty much any race that allows them, which uh, I believe is all of them, and I uh, really don't plan on using safety pins ever again. At the Pewaukee Duathlon last weekend, uh, I, they offered me four safety pins and I said, no, thank you. So if you like this video, please uh, click the like button down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. 
And if you are looking for an alternative to safety pins, um, I would highly recommend bib boards. Um, I am an affiliate partner of theirs, uh, so I will have my affiliate links in, in the description down below. Uh, so if you use those to make a purchase, I do earn a small commission. Um, I'll also have my discount code on there. If you use accounting for cycling uh, with no spaces, you get 20% off. So that's pretty excellent. Um, and then, you know, I receive a little bit of a commission too to pick up more of these or really just kind of fund more things for the channel. Check the links in the description down below. I'll also have a, uh, if you check my Instagram, I have a link in my bio that uh, I even have things for upcoming races and other affiliate products as well. Uh, so just as a reminder, I do earn a small commission if you make purchases through there. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed this and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.